Okay, we're in the studio now, and we're just going to do a small studio piece of um, lower fish guard. We're going to use the same method of an overall wash and teasing up as few shapes as we can. We have this sketch of lower fish guard. What we're going to try and portray really is the light water, and um, we're hoping for lots of first wash in the mid ground. And um, there's a bit of masking fluid in places as well. And we're going to go in now with an overall wash, establishing the light areas. I have a nice nice limpid sky. Just adding water as I come down. Maybe even a little bit of raw sienna, very dilute. I will suggest the distant back cloth, quite economically, we'll keep that fairly hazy and we can bring that through this roof because this is going to be first wash so we'll strike that in I suppose as well I should take an approximate stab at some of the lighter elements in here Also, on the other side, not vital because we're going to we're going to second wash these. I'm cleaning my brush. I'm going to bring the bead down further. Now we can suggest the light dissections. of the harbour. I want to keep it broad. I'm on very much stiffer paint now. Not as stiff as I'm going to get of course. There it goes. Just drifting it in. That's okay. And I can suggest the water with the sky, with the sky wash. At this stage, it wants to be very pale because, of course, I'm representing the lighter elements. So let's bring let's bring this down a minute. Get the paper covered. See where I am. Right color for some of the boats. We can let that run. That wants to be lighter. There. And this canopy was orange too. The thing is to enjoy this and we're not expecting too much from this first wash as you can see. It's colourful and light and I think that's about it. Now that gives us a nice start. Okay, it's dry now. The first thing I want to do is to tease this corner out. We said this was going to stay first wash. We've got a good dark going here. But we just need to get that little edge. So it is indeed as simple as that. Of course, I need now to get rid Of the wash so I'll add water I can take it that way I can take it that way and what we shall do as you can see the wash gently dissipates through at the same time I'm going to do a little bit of work 
here. Rocks and things at the base. So we'll change the colour of this wash. It's going to be soft edge there because it's up against that wash we've already laid. And as I bring it down, I can vary the colour. I can suggest the flow by leaving little suggestions of strata. Let's bring it through there. Now we're in the backdrop, so we've got no need to worry and to be all all fussy. I'm going to suggest some nice strong wet and wet marks in this distant cliff stiff paint and that gives me the ability just to suggest some detailing and again we just suggest in this strata that's enough let's start by suggesting gunnel there let's suggest the shadow there it's nice and wet I just want a little bit of water up there damp water not wet water if it's too wet it'll it'll run through and then I can suggest as you see the underside of the boat there and this can come through there I can take it down there a tad as well there while that's still wet I'm going to go in with some glue what I call glue anyway is actually just very stiff paint and again and what that does is it leaves a mark just a little tease for the rowing boat a little tender thing here I can keep this small brush, although I shouldn't and we'll just tease that away suggested we're just going to suggest some shadow areas on this little front boat I'm going to put a little bit more detail on that but for now let's suggest some of the shaded areas I shall pop some water up at the bottom of the hull and we'll just put the base in this Pop a little bit of strong dark in here and there. There. And for now, that's going to be enough. I'm going to put all the other little bits and pieces on that once that's dry. We've got this lovely little front boat. Um, and I think we can just about finish it because it's not going to be affected by the big wash we're going to have coming through here so I can virtually get some degree of finish on this some shadow comes across there then it hits the the um, whatever they call it 
Ganelo Ganuelo top bit. Then it comes down to some shadow on the side here. And what we like about this is we can echo the slope of the boat, the bow there. There. Again, I can tease a bit of dark where the boat turns under. And we have a whacking great outboard motor which needs to go in quite strong. Strike it in. There. That's okay. This is quite a big dark shape. We want the shape to be a good a good strong dark. And to my eye, that's a little bit too green. See I, I want it to be really nice and rich. Maybe in bits it can go a fraction, um, a fraction greener than that. Laying it on with the side of the brush. More ultramarine because I want to show this edge, don't I? There. Every time I go back in, I can go back in now, I'm using this stiffer paint. See what it does? There. Let's finish off this little front shape with some good strong, good strong dark on top, on top of the wall. So I'm going to a little bit more water. I'm going to bring this down here and across just to touch that there. And I'm going to perhaps warm it a little bit more with some cadmium red to bring it down here. Okay, we're going to detail up some of the boats now. We'll start with this boat here. Quite strong. Slightly weaker back here. Strike it in. We have some nice little bits there and I want to put the bow here slightly into shade so I'll get a little wash, a little grey and as it comes under I shall add some clean water There. Of course, I can take that. I have to take it now, I suppose. Down into the reflection. And I just want to darken that red. Give it a bit more bite. There you go. Yeah, we like that. This lovely little rowing boat, I shall just darken inside. Darken there. 
that's enough. Then we have the boat up against the jetty. Darken the front of it. If I darken it thus, I should be using a bigger brush. We might be able to give the impression, once we darken behind, of light coming through those windows. And I think that would be worth having. It's time now to, to do the backdrop. Add a fraction of water, very lightly. And again, I don't need to be too drastic or too fiddly. And that is easier said than done. I shall just tease some apparent little fractures and such like. particularly down near the waterline. Go in with some stronger marks. I think I'm busy in that a tad too much, so I'll stop. The harbour wall needs to be in quite a, quite a shadow especially here on the end and I want this to possibly be the darkest dark that we've made so if I go back into that again with some ultramarine too that's going to be quite dark as I come away from there I shall allow the wash to lighten slightly. I must keep it beading down here. I want to pick this up later. So if I'm going to get this wash in, I need to adhere to the old watercolour technique of hell for leather. Go in ten to the dozen here. So let's get that in. Bring this down on top of the rowing boat through to the back here. Let's vary it. A little bit of variety in the wash. That sits on there. I could I can start to echo. Cut around the boat there. Bring all this through. It's either work or it won't. Start suggesting the, water, the backdrop the greenery from here. It needs to come all the way through this. Quite a, a tricky beast, really. But, if I get a move on, and if I keep this bead, I may just, I'll go back through there. I may just be lucky. There. Right, keep going, keep going. There, cut the front of the boat out nicely there. Touch that before it dries, hopefully. Come through. Right, let's keep an eye. I'm nearly, nearly there on this. I want this to just come on top, on top of the cab, to show up that 
dark against light sort of thing there and then you can sort of just peter out I want a better word this comes round two we're going to quickly go for this part of the harbour wall moving through the shape as rapidly as I can I shall get this a little bit darker as it comes down and of course keeping the paint wet and beady let's start putting some there we go up against the carb of course And again, we've mentioned this before, if you work quickly, you have the option of going back. If you're hesitant and slow, the washes are dry before you reach the end and you haven't got that luxury. I go back through there as well, just to maintain that tone. And then we shall bring this, I want this really to cut there. I'm going to put some strong stay putty type darks in there and I'm going to bring that now through to cut out the bow of the boat there. Right, I can some bring it in here. there. Ooh, there. I may as well take it through here actually. I can take it through there. Trying to keep the hand nice and loose. There. We can start to show that reflection. Quite dark. And come. there out there I want that to be darker once again I've painted quite rapidly so I have this luxury I'm just slipping back in lose a few edges to softness There. Under the eaves, down the reveals, I can do the same here. I know that this this door was a lovely. Cerulean, I can place that. Lose some of it. I think maybe we should try to add something to the corrugations. That's it for now. Just busy the roof up a fraction. I also want to come back over to this top corner. I think this roof is looking a little bit, a little bit flat. So I'm going to go against my earlier plan, and I'm going to whack in a little bit of dark there, and then take it back light. like so now I've considered it a little bit and I've put some little accent pieces some ropes and just little suggestions here and there 
Well, I think we're going to call this um, call this finished. So there we are, Fishguard Harbour.